We've made it to the end of Cobra Kai season one. Let's do this thing. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video, the Cobra Kai season one finale reaction. Last episode was super intense, I had to roll right into this one. I feel giddy right now with excitement to see how this is gonna end, but before I get into this reaction, be sure to hit that like button, it does help out quite a bit. Share this video with fellow Cobra Kai fans to spread the word that I'm watching the show for the first time. Be sure to comment your favorite moment from the episode down below and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future reactions like this one. I also have a Patreon, you guys can feel free to check out a link down below for movie commentary tracks and TV episode commentary tracks. I can't wait much longer. Last we left off, we had a confrontation between Johnny, Robbie, and Daniel. All the tension is there between Sam and Miguel and everyone. It's heating up real quick, and I'm very curious to see how the season ends. Let's do the damn thing. Banger out the gate. All oh, Valley! All oh, Valley! I'm fired up right now. I don't know about you guys. I'm fired the hell up. Oh, I would destroy some churros right now. I'm so hungry. I guess the question is who is Miguel gonna have to fight in this tourney? We're about to find out. Maybe Hawk makes a push for the win. We don't know. We're gonna find out. We need to hear you're the best around at some point in this series. And that's gonna happen. It's just a matter of time. Yo, Miguel, calm down, man. <laughs> for the tournament. Or Sensei. The tournament's gonna start soon. I saw him last night at the mini mall. That was pissed. <laughs> oh my god. We're all gonna die, kid. Oh. We're here. We're gonna have to do without him. Do what without him? Yes, sir. Let's run it. I may not always win, but I never back out of a fight. Well, I learned to strike first. Taught you to strike hard. But I haven't taught you the third rule of Cobra Kai. No mercy. Let's hear it. No mercy. Yes, sir. I fall in love with a girl. Some other dude comes and steals her away. Life shows no mercy. So neither do we. Do whatever it takes to keep our heads above water. We do whatever it yes, takes sir. to keep moving forward. Do whatever it takes to win. He's going full Rocky on me. You're badass. You don't give a shit. Kick Let's go, Tony. Let's go. I'm fired up, guys. I'm not even kidding. Fired up right now. Yes, sir. No, you're not wearing those. No way. Are they going back in black? That is so cool. Come on, guys. So your boyfriend turned out to be a jerk, and your boyfriend turned out to be the son of your mortal enemy. It's 50th anniversary. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. I'm ready to see how different they shoot it compared to the original Karate Kid, and I guess part three. Good to see you, champ. Are you sure you don't want me to keep the car running? He's gonna end up staying the whole time, obviously. There he is. Iconic. I'm also kind of nervous to see how it sounds. How can you be so calm? Wisdom. <laughs> She's funny. Those one-liners. My prediction right now, since I sat in the front row, is that Miguel is going to be distracted by her. And like, I want to say Miguel's going to win because that would be satisfying, but maybe he needs to lose. Returning to the tournament, we have... Yes, they're wearing all black with the yellow. Vintage, baby. Vintage. <laughs> You're damn right. Awkward. So he is joining, and we are going to get Robin Miguel. Interesting. It is extremely obvious, and not in a bad way, that Miguel and Robbie are going to be the finals. It's very, very clear to me. But it's not bad. That's my prediction all along. Oh, the callback. Crane kicked him in the first. A villain arc for Miguel? Come on, Aisha. Oh, yeah. Ah, Hawk is coming out for blood. <laughs> oh, the tattoo. Are his parents going to see it? Let's see it, Bert. Let's go, Bert. Oof. I love the way they montage through it. It makes it so intense. The music in the background. That bad blood. Damn. She gave a valiant effort. Who is this guy? Yeah, this bum. I hope he does not win. Any any of the other three uh, over him, please. Even though I love to fight, we all need to fight together against hatred. The most generic statement you can make. <laughs> Even if you don't join Cobra Kai, definitely use another girl out there. Season two, baby. Kick that pansy bitch in the face. <laughs> Come on, Miguel. It shot so much better than the original. There we go. Finish him. Put him in the mat. Oof. Big guy, huh? Ooh. There we go. Hawk's not winning. They wouldn't put Hawk versus Miguel in the finals. Oh, he lied so much. He's a kid. Obviously wasn't in it with Johnny, or he wouldn't be fighting his students. 
Ah, uh, Hawk's going down. Prepare to face the fury of the Hawk. Yeah, Robbie's about to win. No way it's Hawk versus Miguel in the final, right? Remember what you learned, Robbie! Is he not? Search inside for the good stuff. Then you can find some balance in your life. Ready? And fight! Ooh. Yeah. Robbie's about to come back and win this. Why? Leaving early to fix that stupid haircut? Hey. Disqualified. Illegal contact. You're disqualified. Get the hell away from me. Hawk, bad look. That's some that 80s Cobra guy right there. We're getting another parallel though because he's got that injury just like Daniel had the injury before he fought Johnny in the original. So they're coming full circle. Is he going to go? He's gonna go Miyagi right now, because I, yep, he's gonna go and heal him. Here we go, Robbie's winning to complete the parallel. The score. Sorry, I lied to you, Mr. LaRusso. I just wanted to get back at him. Can't let that bad blood change who you are. I'm not saying you need to like the guy. I know I never will. He is your father. He's not a monster. He's just a guy with a lot of demons. This is a great, Mr. great Miyagi scene. always told me there's no such thing as a bad student, only a bad teacher. Crease. And the worst teacher there ever was. Yeah. You don't have to ever become him. You let go of all that anger, and I guarantee you, no matter what happens tonight, you go home feeling great. Powerful stuff. My arm has tingles on it. His shoulder's killing me. He's doing the Miyagi move. I don't think I can fight. Let's see it. Pow! Let's do it. Yes! I love a good callback, and this show knows exactly how to do them. Medic! <laughs> That's funny. He doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> You don't even know Robbie yet, and you were trying to start a fight with him? You have to show you first. You don't wait for the enemy to attack. The enemy? You Bad. hear yourself? I don't even know who you are anymore. What's going to do to Robbie in the finals? I high-key want Robbie to win now, guys. I was rooting for Miguel all season, but I want Robbie to win. Miguel's just to go. kind of a dick lately. I'll come with you. It's okay. It's just starting to get good. I'm gonna have to face him sooner or later. Might as well be today. We had this villain arc for Miguel come out of the blue. Like, cause I, I thought he was the hero of season one, and now Robbie's who I'm rooting for. Daniel about to come out. <laughs> Miyagi-Do! Hard not to root for them. I mean, like, I know they did a great job of riding Johnny, but it's hard not to root for them in the end here, just because Miguel's been such an ass lately. What do you think you're doing? Coaching my student. Somebody needs to be there for him. You think this is funny? You're gonna regret this when it's over. Like, this will ever be over. <laughs> Fact. I won't let the Russo or that kid go. I think they've set it up for Robbie Wynn. Ooh. It's hard because like, ah, they're doing such a good job of creating tension here. It's like I want to root for both of them, you know what I mean? This is a parallel, yeah, when Daniel's leg was killing him. Just remember to breathe and focus. God, this show knows how to do conflict so well. Is he gonna do the- is he gonna do the kick? Because, yep, because he was skating. He's gonna do the thing where he ends up on his head and he kicks him, isn't he? I'm calling it right now. Here we go. Why else introduce it and have him do that skateboard scene if not here? Yep. <laughs> I knew it. What's gonna happen? Flashbacks. I'm gonna tell him then. No, 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 no. Let me finish. I found his weakness, Sensei. It's his shoulder. I know we want to win, but it's gotta be the right way. We don't have to fight dirty. There's nothing dirty about winning, Sensei. Give me that. Johnny, you gotta tell him though. I have no clue what actually is gonna happen here. Like, I, I don't know. <sighs> I'm nervous. The slow-mo. That's it, right? Yeah. So Miguel won, and I, I'm not like, it's a really weird feeling because Miguel had this weird turn for me at the last second there. I feel for Johnny though right now. This show. <laughs> Johnny, that conflict. Cause I mean, I'm happy for him because like he worked his ass off all season to get these kids in shape to win, and like they're like they have confidence now. But he still wants that relationship with his son too. Robbie, I'm sorry. It's okay, man. Let's go, Mr. Lowe. You got what you wanted, Johnny. You won. Congratulations. I'm reconsidering joining Cobra Kai. Yeah, have you seen Sam? Pretty sure she left a while ago. She's picking Karate back up in season two, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Hell, she might win all Valley next year. Second place. You're so close. Yeah, well, you fought with honor, so no matter what that trophy says, you're the real winner. Now Cobra Kai's gonna take over Karate in the Valley? Probably. Yeah. He's opening... For my dead body. Oh, shoot. That's the fence, babe. We're back at Miyagi's place. 100% Miyagi's place. <laughs> the chills from that score that I get. I know I said you have to let go of your anger and show I love the score. When the fight comes to you, you have to be ready to fight back. We'll need more students. Welcome 
Miyagi Do Karate. Yes, sir. Miyagi Do. His daughter's me one of them. Johnny Boy. Who's it gonna be? Miguel? Miguel? Congratulations. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> no way. You did what I always thought you could do. That's Crease, isn't it? Holy shit. You want Cobra Kai's back where it belongs. Back on top. Everyone closed the book on us. They thought we were done. But now they see. Oh! <laughs> that the real story's only just begun. Oh my god. What a way to end this season right there. I'm in. I gotta go to season two right now. <laughs> I knew Kreese was coming back, but I didn't know he was coming back that soon. Wow. That was good stuff. I mean, there is a lot to talk about right now. I knew Kreese was coming back. I honestly thought it was going to be like the season two finale because everyone was like, wait till season two finale. So I was like, no shot. Kreese has come back this season. He's back. And Johnny's not going to have any of that, I don't think. So I think in season two, I don't even know what could happen. I, I, I don't think that Johnny's going to vibe with Kreese is what I'm trying to say. So I think that they're going to have a breakup. I, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be wild. But um, man, that was a fantastic. I think that was my favorite episode. Like, I think I might prefer that actually to season one, episode five. We got the whole All Valley term. It was so well shot. I constantly flip-flopping back and forth between Miguel and Robbie and just feeling bad for everyone involved. You know, Sam, I felt for her. I felt for Robbie. I felt for Johnny, Daniel, Miguel. There were so many different aspects to all the different characters in this episode. It's just such a well-written show. If, and if I'm looking back season one, episode one to season one, episode 10, the journey I went on was really remarkable. And I didn't believe the show could do that to me emotionally. I had chills. I, I almost damn near teared up when I saw Chris there. Not like out of sad, but just like shock value. I mean, that was just a really great finale while setting up season two with Sam coming back to karate, Miyagi-Do. Kreese is back! I knew it was coming, but not this soon. Crazy stuff. A lot to look forward to in season two. But looking back on season one of Cobra Kai as a whole, honestly, I can say that I really enjoyed my time with it. I didn't expect to kind of fall in love with a lot of these characters and the show overall, but genuinely, I dug the hell out of this show, and I can't wait to keep on keeping on with this journey, especially with Kreese back. Things are just going to keep on heating up and getting bigger each season, and we're going to keep getting wonderful callbacks to that original Karate Kid. This is how you do like a legacy sequel, a la Top Gun Maverick. I mean, it's just paying respect to the original Karate Kid while creating a new show with its own world and these new characters and still kind of continuing the legacy character's stories. I really have to give my hats off to Cobra Kai season one. Enjoyed the hell out of it. Took me by surprise. There were portions of the season where I was like, okay, it might be slowing down a little bit, but nope, it picked right back up in these last two and honestly ended with a bang. Could not have written a better ending myself. Cannot wait to start season two very soon. And thank you guys so much for following along the journey as I watch through season one. I'll be starting season two very soon, so stay tuned for that. But thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Comment your favorite moment from the season down below. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future reaction videos like this one. And feel free to join the Patreon community for movie commentary tracks and TV episode commentary tracks. That is linked down below. Cobra Kai never dies. <laughs>